Good morning, good afternoon, and or good evening. You are watching Nubs Collection, a YouTube series dedicated to the cataloging and review of every game in my physical media collection. As always, I am your host, Victory Nub, and today we were looking at Astianix. Astianix. Astian. All right, you know, I'm going to call it Nasty Max for the rest of the game because I have no idea how you pronounce the word. A-S-T-Y-A-N-A-X. Nasty Max. Uh, this was developed by Acom, AICOM, and published by Jalico in March of 1990. So this is a side-scrolling action-type game, and I think it's supposed to have kind of a Greek aspect to it or a Greek mythological aspect to it. Uh, it's been a long time since I played it, so I honestly don't remember. And the story that they're probably presenting to you here on the screen probably gives you more information than uh, I honestly remember about it. But we'll go ahead and do the story setup like we usually do with the uh, standard episodes of the series. So uh, the story section starts with a header called Dreams. The girl is beautiful. Probably the most beautiful girl you have ever seen. But she seems sad. Or afraid. She is caught. Trapped in some sort of bubble. And there is someone standing by her. Someone dark. Evil. She looks toward you and calls. Nasty Max. Nasty Max. And then you wake up. You are Nasty Max. A 16-year-old student at Greenview High. And you haven't had a whole lot of sleep lately. A beautiful girl has been invading your dreams, along with something sinister. She's being held captive. You're not sure where. All you know is you're running late for algebra and can't worry about strange fairy tales. Next section is called Gate to Remlia. As you head home from school later that day, the questions of this morning appear again in your mind. Who is that girl? And who is keeping her in a bubble? You're so lost in thought, you barely notice the sky change colors and the sun become a blinding ball of purple fire. And then everything goes black. And they have a cast of characters section. Nasty Max, our hero, a freshman at Greenview High. Nasty Max has been selected by the people of Remlia to rescue Princess Rosebud from the castle of the evil wizard Blackhorn. Princess Rosebud, ruler of Remlia, captive of Blackhorn, imprisoned, but far from helpless. Kind of sounds like she is helpless since I need to go rescue her. So in what sense, if she's trapped or imprisoned, is she not helpless? I need to get their story straight. Uh, cutie, because of course, if you're small and female and a pixie of some character, your name has to be Cutie. Friend and advisor of Princess Rosebud. She will be Nasty Max's personal tour guide for his long journey. Blackhorn, the evil wizard. He has kidnapped Princess Rosebud because he hopes to drain her magical powers and add them to his own, all in an effort to rule the world. And he wonders why people always refer to him as the evil wizard Blackhorn. I think they're trying to be funny here. Thorndog. A heart of stone, a face of bone. Thorndog is the chief lackey, er, advisor of Blackhorn. A powerful magician with a bad attitude. And finally, Caesar. Monstrous creature with a gland problem. Blackhorn's pet, also known as Gremlin Face. A thing that walks like a chicken. And Daphne, but only to its closest friends. Oh, these guys are trying to be so funny. Alright, let's get the game started. I'm sure the uh, story that was scrolling in the intro video told me more than I'm going to get here. Whoa! Where am I? This is Remlia. My name is Cutie. Her real name's Stephanie. <laughs> I brought you to this world. What? A talking butterfly? Listen carefully to what I'm going to tell you. Oh, it's going to be hard not to do that since you're talking so slow. The girl who appears in your dreams is Princess... 
cause for effect, Rosebud of Remlia. She is being held captive by the evil wizard, pause for effect, Blackhorn. You know what I find really creepy is her wings appear to be made of skin. She has skin wings. Nasty Max, please save our princess. But I'm only 16. And Nasty. <laughs> How could I save her? Nasty Max, you are the warrior chosen by this world. And that's all the reason he needs. You possess the wonderful miracle power within you. That's not a great explanation. And also, this badass sword. <laughs> Only the princess can send you back to your world. So they kidnapped me to rescue another kidnap victim. I can't do it myself. Look at my hair. Take this badass axe, Bash. This is... This is the only way you... I thought they dropped a word there. This is the only way you can get back to your world. <laughs> we kidnapped you, and you're going to have to fight your way out. Blackhorn has many monsters at his command. Boy, they're really going after this story at the beginning here, aren't they? You have no choice, Cackle. I'm sorry. She's not sorry. She kidnapped me. Okay, then. Lead the way. Now, I would kill the butterfly for kidnapping me. Since there's no other way to get out, she's useless to me. Key up. Key up. I'm being attacked by pustules and skeletons. Oh, look at the ops on that skeleton. Must have been formerly Michael Jordan. Whoa! Ew, what the heck is that thing? Seems like half my enemies are just big viruses. All right, I got a hand. I think I'd increase my damage potential. I like that your power goes up if you don't just swing wildly. Like if you wait, it looks like the power level of the attack goes up. Hey, oh, hey, stop spitting stuff at me jerk. Got some big ups on my own. Look at this. The power inside was apparently the power to jump 30 feet in the air. Ow! Get out of here. Hey! Stop that. Oh! They're going for Ninja Gaiden level of cheap deaths when you try to jump. Hope there's some health here. There's an axe. Nope, that's a sword. I think it's a sword. Man, look at that. You get some height with those jumps. These things are evil. Get out of here. Oh, thank you. Good timing on the health. <laughs> Listen, Blackhorn is an evil wizard, but that doesn't mean he doesn't love unicorns. <laughs> So many unicorn paintings, and they're all the same one. He went to a flea market and saw the one picture that he really liked, and they had like 15 of them. He's like, I'll take them all. Come on, give me something good. I'll take Elf. I guess I can't leave if I don't kill him. Whoa, it's a rock. Oh, cool. I thought that might have been a thing. Key up. All right, so that fireball actually does something. <gasps> Spooky music. Ah, there's Gremlin face, I guess. Or Daphne. Ow. It's kind of a cheap hit. Gotcha. Oh, he's throwing rings at me. He's Wen Wu.
Ooh, creepy. Blackhorn, Caesar has been killed. I should give some more effort here. Hold on. <clears throat> Vermin! He was brought here by Cutie! Why would he know the name of the fairy? Princess Rosebud's friend! What? <laughs> I put Cutie into the cell. I'm positive. She's tiny. I don't know who's speaking here. Look at this in this world. The power of the human is strong. Okay. He must be the root of our trouble. You must destroy him! He cannot stop me from taking Rosebud's power! Yes, sir. <laughs> he just plays it straight. He knows he could do an evil voice, but he's like, you know what? I had a long week. I don't really want to scream. I like the intro. Ooh, 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 ooh. I tell you what, they may be evil, but they certainly have a nice appreciation for art. I have a feeling if I keep going to the left, he's just going to respawn. You want to die? There we go. I got another hand! Ow! Jerk. I like that the hitbox on the enemies, or maybe it's the sword itself, is much wider than the actual object in your hand. So I could be like a foot away from actually hitting him. And the game still gives me credit for the hit. Oh, I lost my sweet sword. I lose my attack power too. He was blocking. Look at that. He's smart. Ah, oh, maybe not that smart. Ow! Okay. Spoke too soon. Yeah, as if these enemies flying overhead actually gave me something. I don't know what the hand does. I thought it was a power-up for my attack power, but it doesn't look like it actually increases at all. Alright, so lesson learned. There's going to be one here that does that, and I do that. Come on. We'll trade blows. Give me my axe! Alright, my sword's back. <laughs> Realize it's not the most uh, involved song ever when it goes. Ooh, 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 ooh. I still like it. I'm not dying to you, bad Skelly. I'm just gonna flail on this guy until I push him off the ledge. Get out of here. See you. Owie. I could use some of that blue juice. There we go. that they put some trees in the evil lair, you know? Just because he's evil doesn't mean he also doesn't appreciate the planet of Remlia's uh, eco ecosystem. Listen, uh, if everyone... Oh! I think that's a bad guy. I gotta kill. Yes, it is. And I think I did! Owie! Swamp thing. Doesn't seem like it's very hard. I just smack him a couple times when he gets close. Yeah, look at that. Come on. Seriously, kid. <laughs> he just bopped me on the noggin. I'll box your ears, I will. Alright, I guess I don't have to fight a boss this time. Now, what is that thing in the bottom left? Is that extra lives? And why are they represented by what looks like a arcade cabinet, but really poorly animated? 
verticality, always nice. I still don't understand why all the enemies in this game seem to be viruses or amorphous blobs. Maybe that's why his forces are getting eliminated so easily. Try to hire people. If you're an evil organization, don't rely on swamp creatures and blobs. Okay, good. I don't die if I fall. You missed. I missed! How do I get over this? Alright, I'm lost here. Shorter jump? No. Uh, there we go. You jerk. Attention to detail. Not only do they have trees and fine art, they also went around the cavern and carved uh, dragon eyes and claws into the wall. Or they painted it with the carcasses of dead dragons that they slayed. I don't know. Why did that hit me? Give me a reason, game. <laughs> Why am I hitting him? That sword is at least a foot away. I guess the, the threat of getting hit is enough to scare him. Come on. <laughs> uh, I can't get enough. I like that the blob man seems to be dancing to the tune as well. And sway those arms left and right. Are we there? We're there. Oh, you jerk. I'm gonna die to you! Boss fight. Boss fight. Uh-oh. This is gonna go poorly. Well, that's not much of a fight! Oh, that is! Alright, she quit. Alright, I'm out of here. See you. No? I think I gotta hit her jewel. I do. Oh! Alright, cool. I get my magic back. I have to start the whole thing over? God! <laughs> All right, my, my good friends already know I make a lot of requests for the day I die so that they have to uh, provide the funeral with everything that I ask for. Uh, this is one of them. You got to put that part of the song into some of the music at my funeral. <laughs> oh, come on, make the jump. There we go. This game has some extremely weird clipping issues, and that is going into bad. I also don't understand the point of the power meter, because it doesn't look like waiting actually changes the attack power at all. I'm just jumping you or not. Cool. I guess if you flail on him, he doesn't attack. Why did I talk? Come on, get up there. There we go. This seems like the kind of level design where they said, you know, we can't just make all our levels left to right. Let's go up some. So I was like, well, but we didn't design the levels to be scaled, so there's going to be a lot of clipping. I don't care. Just put it in the game. I better just flail on this guy with that. Yeah. Taking too many hits. Alright. Blast. Jump! Or not. Can I hit her again? Nope. Don't have that power anymore. Ow. My pivot power does not work. Stay out. Gotcha. Can I stand here? Will that be close enough? Sure is. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on, I'm close. Say that with absolutely no corroborating evidence whatsoever. 
This almost seems like the kind of game they would have designed to try to discourage use of a turbo controller. Where you're supposed to take your time with each swing so that you do more power. And yet, it doesn't seem like there's any difference in the amount of damage I'm doing per swing. So I don't know if that's accurate or not. Inazumi, clear. Nope, another cutscene. Boy, they are lore rich in this game. Could be a bad thing, could be a good thing. Nasty, Max. Yes. Someone's fallen in love with me. You miss your world, don't you? Well, yeah, you kidnapped me. Creepy, skin-winged lady. <laughs> yeah, is it that obvious? And she gone. <laughs> I can see the sadness in your eyes. Yeah, that's called tears. Because I was kidnapped. Thelonia is so far away. I'm sorry. You mean Earth? It's called Earth. That seemed like a cutscene that didn't need to happen. Like, they felt like they had to put something in there, but they didn't know what, so they just kind of stuck whatever worked in the, the scene. No! Oof. Oh, that was almost a, a cheap death. Aw, oh, come on. Hey, wait a minute. I lost my axe. Aw, oh, crap. Let me hit. All right, fine. You're done. Get out of here. Give him a hand. He keeps doing a weird pose, and I don't know what that is. Is he capable of defending? No more virus attacks. That may be the final form of coronaviruses. It's just a giant, evil jellyfish flying around. Oh! Gotcha. Look at that. One shot. Uh, give me my sword. There we go. I say sword. I think that's actually supposed to be a spear. Owie. Oh, look at this. Attack a little faster now. A little bit. Oh, you jerk. Give me your fireballs of fury. I know what that is now. I think what's happening is when I have an enemy that's really close, he's just kind of blocking it. Get out of here. It's between me and Lightning Boy. I think I have a winning strategy here. Just smack him once every second or so. Look at this. I think I'm just smacking him with the hilt. Dark Souls could learn a thing or two. Just stand in one place and keep tapping the attack button one second apart. I don't know if this is actually doing anything. Oh! There we go. Ryu Goku. Ryo, Ryo Goku. They went for a very European style of name for all the characters, and then with the levels, it seems like they decided the Japanese names were fine. <laughs> Ooh, am I going down? Yeah, look at that. We got all four of your directions here. We just need to go left once. Tiny dragon! I'm a monster. The mom's gonna kill me. Or that dragon lady from Game of Thrones, which I watched, I think, one and a half episodes and said, eh, I'm good. I'm sure there's a bunch of people watching this who are gonna be like, no, I'm good on Nub's collection. He doesn't like Game of Thrones! 
Get a load of Game of, Game of Thrones hater over here. <laughs> well, I hear everyone hated the last season because it was basically just the showrunners going, hey, we don't know what George R.R. R. Martin wanted to do with the last part of his series, so we're just going to wing it. but I want it. Sweet. I'll take the health. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! Rock monster. Come on. Die. Get out of here. Jerk. There's gonna be a boss here. I know it. Of course there is. Owie! Okay. Hey! His face. Stinks. Whoa! He's flying. Oh. Oh no! Four phases. Yet again, something Dark Souls could learn. From software, you gotta raise your game. Look at this guy. Four phases, he flies at the end. I keep losing my weapon. That stinks. Listen, I know it's an old carryover, but I don't think enemies just touching you should automatically hurt you. I think they should do what I have to do, which is to actually do an attack to make any kind of damage. Ow! Oh, you stupid... I'm falling. Since some of the enemies drop items, there's really no reason to fight them. Are in the way. Wee, 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 wee. I like that the the main hero, although he's 16 years old, is just a, a freaking wall of man, and he was like, "Why do you want me?" The fairy should have been like, "Dude, you're cut. You're 16 years old, and you're built like a, a tank." Okay. Why me? Duck! Oh, that didn't work. I want to get you third phase before I lose any more health. Oh, come on! Some of these hits don't even make sense. It almost feels like they intended for the character to have a much wider animation and then halfway through they were like you know what the game's getting really like hard to see because of all the clipping and the textures so let's just make the characters smaller but not fix the hitboxes oh, i slow down i hope that doesn't mean he's now back a phase uh oh this is trouble oh no I don't want to die. I'm too pretty. There we go. One hit point left. All right, I think we'll do one more level after this, and that's it. Rent clear. I think that means I paid my monthly rent. I feel they are coming. They are close. Don't worry, sir. This is our territory. 
so flat. They will not make it any further. I need a nap. <laughs> I have strengthened the spell binding Rosebud. She can no longer communicate with. Pause for effect. Cutie. Telepathically. <laughs> Telepathically. You're wrong, Thorn Dog. They will come. No, he just said you can't communicate. He didn't say they won't come. <laughs> what can they possibly do? Oh, I've killed most of your guys. One silly human and a fairy? Hey, she's a human with skin wings, not a fairy. Soon I will transfer your magical powers! To me and rule the world! Your friends are already doomed. Ha! 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 Sup, fools? I'm Marshy! Capital M and then Arshy! I'm a level in this game! Ow. Stupid fish monster. Now why does the ledge need to have eyes? What purpose does that serve? Alright, so knocking him in the water didn't seem to help. <laughs> the, <laughs> the platform I'm standing on. He's watching all the action going, Ooh! <laughs> sword back? Oh. I really don't know what the hands are for. Looks like the power level's going up. Maybe that's what it is. I did a crap job explaining, though. I just figured that meant you had to, like, wait longer to do max damage! You jerks. Hey, Marshy, what am I supposed to do with all these hands? Stuff them in your pockets for secret eating. <laughs> I like that in addition to the giant evil looking fish, they just have random fish jumping out of the water. They're regular fish that made a conscious decision to be evil. Now we know we're truly getting into evil territory because they decorated the ceiling with intestines. All right, wasn't there something that jumps at me somewhere up ahead? Ow, jerk. Right here? Yep. Ow! Oh, and I still got him. There's my sword back. I think there's supposed to be a third level. I just can't seem to save myself long enough to get to it. Oh boy, I'm getting hemmed in. I need you to die. I don't think I'm asking too much. All right, that's it. I'm not going to make it to the end of this level at this rate. not die to a minnow. Oh, crap. Is that it? No, I get one more chance. They're orange. Doo doo. They're black. Dee dee. Look for the ones with me on the back. Dress as a vampire. Ow. Stop it. Stop it. Why are the hitboxes in this game so bad? Come on! This is like Ninja Gaiden level of unfair, like, enemy placement and levels. Which is a shame because the song is actually a little bit of a banger. Get out of here. 
And I'm, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> All right, I think that's it. We're done. Sorry, Rosebud, you're not going to be saved this time. All right, uh, let's go ahead and move into the review phase. We'll do the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, the good is uh, I like that the game encourages you not to just flail your weapon as much as you can. Like, there's a power meter, and I assume, even though it was hard to tell, that you're doing more damage waiting until it charged up all the way and then swinging your weapon so that, you know, if you had a tougher enemy, if you wait long enough to take one swing, you're, in theory, doing more damage for each swing. It was, again, really hard to tell if that was actually the case. Uh, the, the character models were nice and large, uh, but again, there's a, a big bad coming up with that one in a second here. And uh, while I did joke about it a little bit, I actually kind of liked the, the songs in this game a little bit. A little bit. They weren't... This wasn't like revolutionary game music, but it was enjoyable enough. Uh, as far as the bad, the hitboxes are terrible in this game. I would be a foot away from hitting the enemy with my sword, and somehow they still took damage. Not only that, but the enemy would be a foot away from me and hit me with absolutely no physical contact between our character models. It is pretty clear that they meant for the characters to be larger than they actually were, and at some point in the design they said, it's getting hard to see what's going on on the screen because the character models are too big and there's a lot of clipping going on, so let's make the character models smaller and no one thought to go back and fix those hitboxes. So it it really affects the enjoyment of the game knowing that to hit the enemy, I just need to be a foot away from them and then I'll still make contact with my weapon. That was dumb. Uh, as far as the ugly, I feel like some of those cutscenes felt unnecessary. Like they wanted to have a, a deep story, but it seemed like it was mostly just Darn, they're getting closer. Well, we gotta try harder. Okay. Hey, uh, Nasty Max, do you want to go home? I sure do. Next level. It, it, if you're gonna put the cutscenes in there, they need to have some reason. Like, advance the plot somehow, and they weren't doing that. So that wasn't great. Uh, I'm glad they put cutscenes in the game at all, but make them half purpose. Otherwise, you're just kind of wasting my time. Uh, let's go ahead and give this game a score. We do our score in Randars, 1 to 10. I'm going to give this game a 5. I think the uh, cheapness of uh, how some of the enemies' hitboxes uh, clipped me in ways that did not make sense really hurts the game uh, as far as replay value and just overall fun. When I'm getting hit by something that clearly does not make contact with my character model, that makes the game far less enjoyable. Even if there's a little bit of trade-off where I'm hitting the enemy without it being anywhere near their character model when I swing my sword, they should have fixed that. They should have tightened it up. And uh, I think that really affects the, the overall quality of the game. So five Randars, I think, is very fair for this game. Um, not great. I, I actually remember beating it in the past, but this was just not fun. <laughs> I mean, there was there was a little bit of fun in the beginning, just kind of making fun of it, but boy, those hitboxes really are frustrating. So that's going to do it for this episode of Nub's Collection. As always, I do appreciate each of you watching, and I will see you next time.